In the first half of May 2021, foreign publications reported that nuclear reactions had begun again at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, CHNPP. The activity was detected under the protective sarcophagus, which had been built directly over the fuel masses that had penetrated deep into the plant after the world-famous accident. After the news was published, some people became worried, could the disaster happen again and spread the radioactive cloud thousands of kilometers away? Russian scientists responded to the published material by saying that the sensation is overblown and there is no danger. But nuclear reactions are still going on in the depths of the destroyed power plant and something must be done about it. All in all, people are safe for the moment, but the next generations may face bigger problems. This video will tell us what happened and what the future holds. Can the Chernobyl disaster happen again? What is the danger of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant? The accident at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant took place on April 26, 1986. It occurred for a number of different reasons, including malfunctions in the reactor and gross errors on the part of the workers. More than 4,000 people died as a result of the accident and most of the deaths were due to radiation exposure. According to data for 1985, the population of the city of Pripyat was 47,500 people. After the accident, all of them were evacuated by 1,225 buses and 250 trucks, so at the moment no one lives in the city. However, you can find elderly people in the vicinity who simply have nowhere to go. Evacuation of people from Pripyat The explosion at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant started a fire, which was extinguished in various ways, including with the help of sand. A mixture of sand and radioactive particles under the influence of high temperatures turned into a kind of lava and spread throughout the basement of the plant. After the accident, about 170 tons of enriched uranium remained at great depths, and to isolate this dangerous place, the builders built a sarcophagus shelter made of steel and concrete. The sarcophagus let rainwater inside, after which an elevated concentration of neutrons was recorded in the area, which hinted at the presence of radiation activity. To eliminate the problem, another envelope, the arch, was built over the sarcophagus in 2016. Resumption of Nuclear Reactions at Chernobyl In May, the scientific journal Science published an article about the fact that uranium nuclei fission was once again detected at the destroyed power plant, where neutron fluxes are being studied. It is reported that since about 2016 their concentration has increased very noticeably, but the safety standards have not yet been exceeded. After this report, some people began to wonder whether a radioactive cloud capable of spreading hundreds of kilometers into the Chernobyl area could once again arise. Russian scientists responded to the article by saying that the authors of the article just decided to make a sensation out of nothing. According to them, they have long known about the presence of neutrons arising from the spontaneous fission of uranium nuclei, and this is a natural process that should not cause surprise. As we know from nuclear physics, neutrons appear as a result of spontaneous nuclear fission in the area of the destroyed Unit 4 since the accident. This is a physical process that takes place in nature in isotopes of different elements, such as uranium-238. However, isotopes that emit neutrons more intensely, such as curium-244, remained in the spent fuel. Since fission is spontaneous, the source of neutrons itself changes slowly and is determined by the half-life of the respective isotopes, hence a sudden change in detector readings is possible due to the environment. After the accident occurred, the occurrence of nuclear reactions did not stop. The danger of the zone will decrease over time, but fission reactions will occur with greater intensity from time to time, and there are several reasons for this. First, the mixture spread over the depths of the plant has a heterogeneous composition and, therefore, may contain clots with increased amounts of nuclear fuel. Second, the intensity of fission depends on the amount of moderator, which in the case of the reactor was rainwater. Increasing and decreasing the amount of water can also affect the intensity of reactions. According to Dr. Igor Ling, Doctor of Engineering, an increase in nuclear reactions has been recorded before, especially in 1990 and 2000. In the first case, the instruments showed very strong activity, but the second time it was not so dangerous. But in both cases, it was blamed on rainwater entering the depths of the plant. There is no reason for serious concern at the moment, 
But the article has once again forced scientists to think about the future of the destroyed station. For the moment, the shelter is a temporary solution to isolate the radioactive mass, and in the future, scientists will have to develop something new. After all, it is possible that this point on our planet will remain dangerous for thousands of years. It is difficult to predict the development of the situation due to the lack of information, experts say. Specific data on neutron flux densities and other parameters, as well as their changes, have not been published, the experts pointed out. After the material in science resonated in the media, the Institute for Nuclear Power Plant Safety issued a report in which it stated that the growth of neutron fluxes still occurs, but does not exceed the established safety limits. Heavy Atom, what's going on in the exclusion zone? I am sure that the specialists working at the plant will figure it out and provide reports. Of course, the molten fuel can also be removed and buried in special containers. The Japanese have already resorted to this technology to eliminate the consequences of Fukushima. However, even if nothing is done, there is no danger to the population. Radiation also exists in nature. Now the option of treating the shelter and the previously built sarcophagus as a natural controlled storage facility is much more attractive than trying to remove the spent fuel. Curium-244 has a half-life of 18 years, so there is little activity to be expected from it. Uranium-235 isotopes have a half-life of millions of years. Reactions will go on until the enriched uranium runs out. However, the chain reaction that is going on in the remains of Unit 4 burns out the fuel faster, so the process will take thousands rather than millions of years. A case in point is the natural nuclear reactor in Gabon, West Africa, where enriched uranium is found in layers of sand. Nuclear reactions have been going on there for hundreds of thousands of years. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Tell us interesting facts you know about the topic of this video. See you in new videos.